Kathy McLeish here again, and we're on tip number four with our relationship communication series. And the thing is, I don't ever try to have a conversation to get into a fight. I mean, I used to be that way, but I'm really not that way anymore. So all of the tips that we've gathered over the years have kind of helped us not to do that. And tip number four is, can I repeat back what I think you're saying? And you can phrase that any way you want. Is what I hear you saying this? You know your partner better than I do or the person you're trying to communicate with. And so however you want to rephrase what you think you heard them say, it's very beneficial if you do that. Because my husband and I have found over the years that a lot of times I hear what I hear but it is not what he said. And one of our expressions is, please don't hear what I'm not saying. We may have a conversation and it's about the in-laws and the holidays. And he will finish up with what he's thinking and I will, he will say, so what did you hear me say? And I will say, you never want to do Christmas with my family again. And he'll be like, no, no, I'm just saying, do we always have to do Christmas at your family's? And if we do, do they always have to get the prime time? That's a big difference. And sometimes, you know, when it comes to money, we're always miscommunicating. And he might say, what did you hear me say? And I will say, I have a budget of $400 for Christmas with all the people that we buy for? And he'll be like, no, what I told you is come Black Friday, all I have is $400 in the budget. So whatever we do, don't spend more than $400 on Black Friday. That is a big difference. So people don't set out to be jerks. Some people are a-holes and they just are. You know what you're dealing with. I know what I'm dealing with and I'm dealing with a person that really wants to try to have less conflict in our relationship but doesn't always know how. So using the tips in our conversations that can alleviate some of the stress, some of the you know, um, sensitivity and just get the facts out on the table so that we know what each other is actually saying and we can deal with those flat facts. That is a, a big advantage. So, so far we've had four tips and we're gonna move on to number five, which kind of goes with number four. So you'll find it very helpful.